So I posted a video earlier and <laughs> it was very short. So it was like, what, what? But basically back in December of 2022, I was at a local watering hole that I do not go to at all anymore. Um, and I was just speaking to this guy forget his name I think I know what it is I don't need to say what it is but anyways and we're just talking blah 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 just shooting the shit and he seemed really nice you know it was really cool and we did exchange numbers and then it was like I mentioned I'd been learning Russian I was learning Russian well he's Ukrainian so of Ukrainian descent so like he sent me sort of some nasty messages like later on that evening before the bar had even closed or right after. And I was like, fuck this, man. I'm blocking it because, you know, holidays, I got to use my self-preservation to get through the holidays. So I blocked them. Well, my phone updated recently and I've lost voice to text, which I'm still so upset over. But anyways, that's sort of good. At least my sentences make sense now in my text. But back to the point is... I was looking and it showed me all my blocked messages. I like to block. I will block in a heartbeat. I have no qualms walking away from anyone anytime for self-preservation. So that dude's blocked messages came up and he sent me for over two weeks, right up until December 26, all kinds of threatening messages, how he wanted to shoot me he was going to kill me. How much he hates Russians. Well, I'm not even Russian. Okay. I'm a quarter. Belarusian. Okay. It's right next to Russia. Okay. It was more Polish than it ever was Russian, I think. So anyways, I'm not even like, I mean, wow. I say that and I'm turning all red. I can just feel flushed. I feel my, my blood boiling. But so just because of that, he's like, oh God, she's Russian. I want to fucking kill her. Sent me so many messages that I was shocked. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so glad he was blocked. He would have scared the ever living shit out of me during that Christmas holiday because I was almost murdered 20 years ago. So I take threats really seriously. So I've been considering, do I need to go to the police and make a report and show them the messages? Try to figure out if we can remember this guy's name, find his address, serve a little warrant for communicating threats, communicating death threats to me. It's pretty serious. Or do I leave it alone because he left me alone? I think I'm going to leave it alone, but... There's too many people killing people right now. People snapping, going crazy. Little kids killing their parents, killing other little kids. People decapitating people, cutting them up like they're like pieces of meat. People being stuffed in suitcases, all these things. So it's like, it's scary when you get threats from people. And you're a little person. I'm a little person. Like... I'm 5'1". I've gained weight, so I'm 116 pounds. <laughs> but it's like, it's vulnerable. You feel vulnerable when you're a little woman my size. And sometimes there's big people or just mean, intimidating people. So I've learned the power of my lungs and my mouth. And if I have to, speaking like a sailor. I've really had to put up some boundaries and for self-preservation, for keeping my ass safe and alive and in one piece. Because I really don't want to ever, ever experience another broken nose, another punch to my face, a dead tooth from being punched, bruises on my body. None of that. Being choked. I fought. I fought for my life 20 years ago. I wiggled, I wrestled, I fought for my life. And that dude was like, oh my God, you're not like the other girls. They, they didn't do anything. And I'm pretty sure, like he told me that he'd killed people 
And then when he when we went to court, the judge wanted him to stay in court. I mean, stay in jail. But the DA wanted a guilty. So they let him out without even supervised probation. I haven't heard from him since 2007, and I don't live in the same place anymore. So I feel pretty safe-ish. You know, the internet, we have no privacy. You can find a lot. But I just wanted to say, you know, some people kid around, and you know, like, it's a joke. They're just saying, oh, I'm going to kill you. Like, some people say that, like, jokingly way too much. It's like, actually, you need to be careful what you say. But um, when your life is threatened by people telling you that they're going to shoot you and stuff, it takes on a different, a whole different feel. It really does. So I'm going to keep checking my blocked messages. <laughs> And I'm also not hanging out in lots of places because I'm finding solitude and my small quantity of most trusted, vetted, good friends. That's what I'm sticking with. I mean, I make friends everywhere I go, but you really have to get to know somebody. And I'm really not giving out my phone number anymore because I don't like death threats. And that guy... I have a feeling he's probably sitting in jail for doing that shit to somebody else. And if he isn't, he will be. Hopefully he's stopped his hate, his inner turmoil, and he's not going to threaten anybody for just being who they are. We can't help what, what we're born. Like, we can't help. You know what I mean? Like, they say we choose our lives and everything, but like, if somebody's a quarter... Russian, if someone's a quarter Belarusian, if someone's a quarter Ukrainian, isn't there enough war going on? Isn't there enough fighting and death going on? Why would somebody just want to kill somebody just because of a little bit of a nationality within their ancestry? That's just fucking... That just blows my mind. But then again, I cry when ants or spiders have had to have been killed. So, I don't know. I just don't know. The world's crazy. Just stay away from bad people. Stay away from bars. Stay away from stranger danger. <laughs> stay away from haters. <laughs> and be safe. <laughs>